Here's how I talk about getting multiple shots in one. So if I have to get a shot at a lineman, right, I'll get a shot at him before he goes back and get engaged with the player, right, with the defensive guy. Then I pan off of him, and then I'll go back to the quarterback to see if he's going to hand off or throw, right? Sometimes I may, isolation, may do an isolation shot on the wide receiver. But what happens is if I'm shooting my 600 and they're all the way down the field, you know, I'm, a little, I'm loose enough to see part of the whole field, but tight enough to get a nice shot and not really too loose, right? As the plays start coming closer towards me, then I'll hand my 600 to my assistant, I'll break it down to the 400. Because my range, I have to be able to see most of the field like this, but yet I still want to get tight sometimes. And sometimes I'll gamble and I'll stay tight on the quarterback and then go just get shots of the quarterback. So it all depends on the thought process, I'm, what I'm trying to get and what I'm trying to shoot. But the base part is just anticipating what's gonna happen. And knowing you're down in distance, what we call it, right? You know, knowing like if, you, if it's, you know, third down and five, is it gonna be a run or is it gonna be a pass? If they've been running all day, most likely it may be a run. But then if you're a passing team, you know they're gonna pass, so you gotta be ready for the pass and know who their go-to wide receiver is and then pan over and get that fingertip catch. You know, one time I'm in, uh, in Indy and I had my 600 on and I had a 1.4 converter. I want to get tight on the quarterback. He went back to throw a long pass. I had to be able to pan. I found the wide receiver streaking down the field and I got a three-quarter shot of him extending, you know, out catching the ball. So it's like just a matter of knowing how to pan and where you're going with the position and what you're going to shoot. Sometimes you're going to guess and you're going to guess wrong. And so, and then when they're in the red zone, so usually I'm in the position in the end zone with my 600 and the team is coming towards me. That's where I position myself. Sometimes what I'll do, sometimes depending, I have a feeling, right? And sometimes I'll work this side of the field or I'll work the opposite side of the field. Sometimes I'll go to the corner of the end zone. All depends on where I want to go at a certain time. But most of the time when I'm out here on the field, and if you look at it this way, our goal post is really over here, right? So I try to position myself when I have all my five lenses, 600, 400, 300. The 300 is sitting in front of me while I'm kneeling on my knees, right? And what happens is I try to be able to get where the goal post is not blocking me if I had to shoot that angle and the play is away from me. But there's one thing, it's like anticipating, anticipating if it's coming to your side of the field, then you have the right lens in front of you. Either it's a 7200 or real close to 24 to 70. You know, you're gonna guess what lens you're gonna shoot with. But there's one thing that I'll do, the 300 here, if they're going away with my shoulder straps, I just drop the 70 to 200, pick up the 300, shoot across the field. Right? Sometimes I have my 7200 ready to go and I'm peeking and I'm cheating and if I see the play coming this way and then I have the right lens in my hand and then you know it's money.